going on, Bears fans? Welcome to Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Who is this? <laughs> Dick Buckus. Dick Buckus? Walter Payton, you know, it's the man. Find Cole Komet wide open. Touchdown, Bears. Let's go. Who is this? Georgia. Nice throw, Jay Field. I think I can fit in as like a water boy for the Panthers or something. I'm not t- talking about getting on the field, you know. It's picked off. Picked off an end zone by Kyler Gordon. Let's go. Put some respect on Kyler Gordon's name. And as always, bear down. You ain't about it. You ain't about it. You ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it. You ain't about it. You ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe because I be on it right. You ain't about it. You ain't about it. You ain't kick on the mic. Hey, what is going on, Chicago Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another live stream right here on Keek on the Mic. I know I tried to do a live stream earlier today, um, but my daughter had other plans, so I decided to come on here um, and talk to you guys a little bit um, on a Tuesday evening. So once again, I do appreciate you guys being here. Once again, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Uh, make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and also make sure you give me a big thumbs up on this live stream as well. That will be much appreciated. Obviously, the question of today's live stream is what is your dream first round for the Chicago Bears? Um, obviously, we can just have the assumption that Caleb Williams will be the number one overall pick for the Chicago Bears uh, in the 2024 NFL draft. Um, but, you know, we still have the pick number nine as well. So I'm um, obviously the Chicago bears can have a really, really good first round of the NFL draft. So I just wanted to come on here really quick and just talk to you guys for a little bit and, and get your opinions on what would be a dream first round for the Chicago Bears. So obviously you have Caleb Williams or is it not Caleb Williams for you? It doesn't really matter. This is all for you guys to come in here and engage with me. Once again, I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. So much for being here on this quick little Tuesday night live stream. So we're going to chat real quick for people that are already in the chat. Billy Taylor, how you doing, Billy? Thank you so much for uh, coming in the chat. He says, Caleb in the left tackle from Penn State. I think Olu Fushanu would be an excellent pick for the Chicago Bears, um, especially if you're able uh, to trade down and still get a guy like Olu Fushanu, right? And the cool thing about Olu Fushanu is that he actually played um, with Caleb Williams um, in high school. Um, so obviously they have that chemistry. Olu Fushanu has nothing but great things to say um, to say about Caleb Williams, especially as a leader, as a teammate. Um, so I think Caleb Williams wouldn't mind um, the Chicago Bears giving him some protection as well. And a guy like Olu Fushanu. We have um, we have someone in the chat saying Caleb and Rome Adunze. I think Rome Adunze would also be a very, really, really, really good pick for the Chicago Bears. Um, obviously, you get a guy that's, that's big, fast, strong. Um, you add him to the fold with Keenan Allen and DJ Moore, and you have yourself a really, really good duo uh, for the Chicago Bears. We have Chicago Sports Talk. Michael in the chat says, Keek on the mic, just curious. Are you going to upload a video about people making a big deal about Caleb wearing lipstick and pink fingernails along with having a pink phone? No, I'm not. I think that's a waste of a video. Um, as long as he can come in here and win those football games, I can care less what he does to his fingernails or if he has a pink phone. Um, I, I really can care less. You know, if he's a good football player, he's a good football player, right? I don't think we should make, you know, unnecessary videos about, you know, something that doesn't really concern me, right? Um, someone commented and says, nobody cares that Caleb does all this diva stuff. As long as he balls out, I don't care. And that's the big thing. You know, um, I, I don't really want to call him a diva. Uh, maybe he just likes to paint his fingernails. Maybe he just likes the color pink, right? I, I don't know, but I really don't care. Um, as long as he comes in and, and plays good high level football and helps the Chicago bears win football games. Um, I would be ecstatic personally, but you know, for me personally, bears fans, I, I really like the idea of, you know, obviously taking Caleb Williams, um, taking Caleb Williams at number one, I think that's the obvious pick at this point. Um, and then at number nine, you have just many different routes you, you can go in, right? You can, you can take the best player available with the Chicago bears. Um, just like Matt Eberflux said today could have a lot of blue collar options, um, to choose from at pick number nine, right? Um, so you can take Roma Dunze. You can maybe take Malik neighbors, maybe Joe Alt's there for some random reason. Maybe Olu Fushanu is there. You can have both edge rushers there. And that's why I'm thinking that Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears are most likely just going to to trade down from that pick and, uh, you know, just just call it a day, right? You know, trade down from that pick um, 
and 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 still probably get a really good player, possibly a top 10 player, right? So I, I'm I'm excited for Ryan Poles. I'm excited to see what he does um to with that number nine pick. Um, I think there's so many things the Chicago Bears could do. Once again, I'm gonna go in the chat. Thank you guys so much for engaging with me. I'm on this live stream. White Ghost says Caleb Williams, uh, Dallas Turner, uh, OT at pick 75, wide receiver in the fourth round. Um, I wouldn't trade back. Take the best players available. And, I, you know, I've done mock drafts like that before. Like, just take the four best players available, whoever falls in your lap, um, right? You roll with it, and, and you move on, right? I, I think that's also the be best case scenario, one of the best case scenarios uh, for, for the Chicago Bears. Um that, that you could just take the four best players available, right, to help your football team win now because I think the Bears are ready to win. Uh, Jericho Thomas says, how do we tackle Aaron Jones? Uh, I, I don't know. You know, Aaron Jones, you know, obviously, I mean, he got released from the Green Bay Packers, um, and now he's with the Minnesota Vikings. So we necessarily didn't get rid of Aaron Jones, right? So I'm like, dang, hopefully he's not as effective with the Minnesota Vikings, right? Uh, but I am I guess I'm glad he's gone. Uh, from the Green Bay Packers. Chicago Sports Talk Michael says, Caleb reminds me of Aaron Rodgers with his attitude. Hey, Aaron Rodgers wins football games, right? So that's all I care about. Someone says, I have a feeling they are taking defense at number nine. Could very well. I think I think that's probably the best case scenario. Um, and, and that's the thing. Ryan Poles can go in many different directions um, for this football team. You can take an edge rusher. You can take a receiver. I, I really like I really like Dallas Turner out of Alabama. I would also be fine with Jared Verse. I would also be fine with Liatu Latu at the UCLA, especially in a trade down. Um, there are so many things that Ryan Poles can do with that number nine overall pick. I think that's what we're going to be focused on on draft night is pick pick number nine, right? Um, we all know what's going to happen at number one, but I think when pick number nine rolls around, we're going to be like, okay, Ryan Poles, this is where the draft's getting started. What are you going to do? with pick number nine. Someone said, Jared Verse, it, Jared Verse is my go-to. Yeah, I also like Jared Verse as well. Uh, one second, guys. All right, sorry about that, Bears fans. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the comments once again. Once again, continue to um, engage with me. What would be your dream first round for the Chicago Bears? Appreciate you guys being here on a Tuesday evening here on Keek on the Mic. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to probably, you know, have more, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to be doing some um, changes to the channel. Um, I'm, I'm going to be having more of a strict schedule of when I'm going to be going live for you guys. Um, just so I'm not all over the place with my content. Um, I feel like I've been all over the place because, you know, I'm, I'm busy being a father first. Um, so it's almost like when I have time to do live streams, that's when I do it. Um, but I really want to try to be more organized and, um, you know, have a more strict structure schedule um, for you guys. So you guys can really follow along on my uh, on my episodes and um, just getting a bigger crowd in here as well. Jericho Thomas says they they banned the hip drop. How do defenders play? I don't know. That to me, it's it's like almost impossible um, for the defense to tackle. So it's like it's going to be interesting to see how Eberflus handles that. Uh, but it's just getting unfair at this point. It's, it's an offensive driven league for sure. OMB Dresky, how you doing, my man? Thank you so much for tuning in. He says Caleb is built for Chicago. He's going to do great. Yeah, I think so too. Um, Chicago's a tough city. I feel like he has like that arrogance and cockiness um, that, that's going to fit Chicago perfectly. Um, 
I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for him to see what he's able to do in a Chicago Bears uniform. Someone said, or oh, trade back and getting Latu would be insane. Yeah, I think Latu Latu is the the forgotten man, forgotten man here, right? Um, the dude's extra productive. Um, obviously he had some neck injuries that can be concerning down the road, and I think that's why people are kind of swaying away from him. Um, but the dude was extra productive. Um, at UCLA, he he lives in the backfield, right? Um, I believe he had a 12 sacks one year, then followed up with 13 sacks. The dude is insane, right? I think it would be a solid addition alongside Montez Sweat. Someone said, or JPJ. Um, I do I do like him as well if you trade back. Um, Tyler says, kids are tough, man. We feel you. Be a dad, everything else second. Yeah, and that's the, that's the thing, right? You know, um, so I'm going to sit back and, and see how I can uh, approach doing this channel, right? Um, I'm not going to get rid of the channel, of course, uh, but I just wanted to like almost restructure in terms like, okay, what's my schedule? Um, because I sent, I think since my videos have been kind of erratic, right? When I post like at random times, um, I think I have seen not as much engagement as I would hope, um, when doing these videos at, at, at the same time, I think bears fans are kind of just like, you know, sitting back and like, you know what, um, there's not much to talk about. Everyone's saying the same thing. So I understand that as well. Um, so they're probably just sitting back and waiting for the NFL draft. So I appreciate the words though. We have Philip in the chat says, Hey, Keith, good evening to you. Bear down, bear down to you as well. Philip, thank you so much for, for tuning in. Obviously you're one of my loyal listeners. So I do appreciate you tuning in every single video I post, every single live I drop. You're always in here. So I appreciate you, Philip. Hope you're doing well. Someone said, did you guys talk about the pink phone case already? Yeah, everyone's going nuts about the, the pink phone case that Caleb Williams had. Um, someone said that his fingernails were painted pink too, and he had a pink phone, pink that, pink that. I don't care. As long as he comes in and plays good football and wins us football games, I don't, I don't give a rat's ass what he does to his nails, right? It is what it is at this point. Bear down 27. I want to see Tyler Scott and Bayless Jones get pushed far, uh, farther down the death chart, both liabilities. Yeah, I think Tyler Scott will obviously have more of leeway um, than Bayless Jones because, you know, Tyler Scott's going into year two. Um, obviously, Bayless Jones had some fumbling issues and, you know, catching the ball issues, and so has Tyler Scott. But I think since Tyler Scott is going into year two, um, he has more of uh, leeway, right? <laughs> so I think um, he'll have more of an opportunity to um, get some playing time on his offense. Philip says, Keek, do you have a sleeper pick with the Bears third round pick? I, for me, for me, it has to be Brandon Rice. I really do. Um, I think, you know, Brandon Rice, if he's there in round three, I think you pull the trigger, especially if you don't take a wide receiver um, with that first round pick, the, the number nine pick, right? Um, I think Brandon Rice then comes into play. I'm at the third round pick. And if he's there, I think you, uh, you, you select him, right? And pair him with Caleb Williams. Someone says, shout out to Caleb for supporting breast cancer awareness this early in the year. Yeah, that's how I look at it. Hey, you know, um, that's like me having a purple uh, phone case or painting my fingernails purple. Um, I support pancreatic cancer. I've lost two of my grandfathers from pancreatic cancer. So um, I, I don't know. I don't care what his nails look like. I don't care what his phone case looks like. If the guy's good at football and he can help us win football games and get us closer to our goal of winning the Super Bowl, who cares? We are Joshua in the chat. How you doing, Joshua? Thank you so much for tuning in to this live stream of Keek on the Mic. It says, Caleb Williams plus Joe All. Yeah, that would be a dream as well. If Joe All is there at nine, there's something wrong with the other teams ahead of us. I, I really do. I think there's something wrong because he is the best by far. I'm a generational left tackle talent in the 2024 NFL draft. Um, I would absolutely love to pair him and Caleb Williams together on the same team. Rich says, hey, Keek, what's going on? Um, how's your night going, my brother? Hope all is well and bear down. Thank you so much, Rich, for tuning in. Um, everything's going well. I'm a little bit tired, um, but that comes with fatherhood, of course. I wouldn't change it for the world, um, but I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in and bear down to you as well. Someone says, as long as Caleb doesn't pull a P. Diddy, he's, he'll be all right. Yeah, absolutely. Don't Just don't do anything dumb, right, <laughs> at this point. I mean, we can get a second round pick. Who do you want? If I get a second round pick, ooh, man. Um, if we're able to trade down and, ooh, that's tough. Probably, I think that's when I would probably target a receiver. If we're able to trade down, I think the receiver class is really deep um, this year. So you could probably take one of those receivers um, if they're still there. Um, like Lad McConkey out of Georgia would be a nice pick, I would think, in, in round two. Um, maybe an edge rusher if you don't get your edge rusher at nine. 
uh, maybe a, I don't know, maybe an edge rusher or a receiver. I think that those would be my two routes I would go if we get a second round pick. Maybe a sleeper pick would be maybe getting a safety, maybe like Tyler Newbin. Um, out of Minnesota would be a good pick there. I know people may think like, oh, no, don't take a safety. But obviously, Kevin Bayard is a veteran. I'm not sure how long he's going to play. Um, so that could also be a sleeper pick at round two if we were able to trade down and get a second round pick. Someone says, I think that if Caleb Williams comes in with a cocky attitude and the color <laughs> and colorful nails and just outside the norm stuff, if he wins, I'm just going to consider him the new Dennis Rodman. Yeah, and then, yeah, that's the big thing, right? I don't think Bears – there's some Bears fans that may be out there. I'm like, oh – don't draft him. He has pink fingernails or, oh, he has pink lip gloss on or he has pink phone case. I guarantee you that if he comes in and wins football games, that will all go away. That will all go away. Chat says, do you realize that if if all this femme stuff keeps up and they find out that Kate Williams is gay, I'm sorry to say this, but the, in the NFL, your career is over and every gay football player isn't playing after that, that facts. Mm. Yeah. I guess you can make that point. You can make that argument, right? But also, I I, I would like to c- consider that also we're in 2024. Um, I, so I would hope what times would change, and I hope that if he just comes in and he's a good football player and he's winning football games, I don't. I hope his teammates wouldn't care um, that that he's gay. You know, I don't really want to talk about this, but um, since you brought it up, I I think you know I would hope times were different in 2024. White Ghost says, whatever Poles does at nine, I'm fine with it. Yeah, and that's the big thing. There's so many routes Ryan Poles can go in. So many different directions Ryan Poles can go in. Um, I, I'm really excited to see what he does at number nine. Um, once again, if you're just now joining the live stream, thank you so much. Make sure you do me a favor and hit the like button. That would be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. It's a pretty slow time as a Bears content creator. We're just kind of trying to post as much content as possible until leading up to the NFL draft. Um, But the question of today's live stream is what is your dream first round scenario for the Chicago bears? You can go ahead and comment that down below in the chat. I appreciate you guys so very much. White Ghost says Velas Jones is an excellent returner. Yeah. When he's able to catch the ball and secure the ball, I think he can be explosive. I think um, maybe Shane Waldron has some things in store for him as well um, to make him a little bit more dynamic as well. So I'm, I'm excited to see if they give him another opportunity. This is definitely going to be Velas Jones Jr. Last chance with the Chicago bears. Chet says, I agree with you. I would hope the same, but look at Nassip from the Raiders. He's now gone, and that was just a year or two ago. And, and yeah, you know, but you have to understand it's different different positions, and I know that may not make a lot of sense, um, but Carl Nassip, right, he he was a good player. I would say he was a good player, um, but, you know, you're, you're calling Caleb Williams generational, and he plays the most important position in the National Football League. So if he comes in, he balls out, right, and he's winning playoff games and maybe making a Super Bowl and winning Super Bowls. I don't think anyone's going to care about that G word, right? So that's how I look at it. Um, I think it's kind of overblown. I, I don't I don't really think anything of it that he has pink fingernails or a pink phone case or if he's wearing lip gloss, I really don't care. If, if, once again, if he can win football games, you can come in here and make the Chicago Bears better. Let's go. I know there's going to be a lot of Bears fans that may obsess over that. Like, like, oh, oh, I don't want a guy that paints his fingernails. Trust me. If he beats the Green Bay Packers twice a year, they will get over the fingernail thing really quick. Someone says, do you think with the new kickoff rules that Bayless Jones Jr. will do better? Yeah, I think it's going to help a lot of people. Um, you know, the fact that he's able to catch it, secure it, and then get like almost a running start before anyone's able to come after him, um, I think it's going to lead to a lot more explosive returns and probably to more points. And that's why they probably did it because the NFL is driven off of scoring points. So any way they can help the offense or any team score more points, they are going to do it. And I think that's exactly what the new kickoff rule is going to do for NFL teams. Once again, I appreciate you guys being here. I do want to make a quick announcement that I will be going doing an NFL draft party right here on the podcast. So I hope you guys um, will come join me as we welcome the new Chicago Bears, especially quarterback Caleb Williams, that I'm expecting that he will be the number one overall pick for the Chicago Bears. Someone said, Bayless Jones' hands are made of soap. I can. That's a good, very, very good argument. Um, someone said very, very Southern voice back in my day, we used to just play football <laughs> LOL JK. People are mad strange for looking at what dude is doing. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think people are just kind of looking for, for flaws 
of Caleb Williams. Just just support the guy, right? Let's let's surround him and make sure he has the ultimate support um, when he comes in in here into Chicago. Um, and and, that, and that's really just my big thing, right? Um, I don't I don't want us to be divided. We're already divided as a fan base as it is. Um, but we we don't need any more people. You know, we don't need a, another quarterback to fail, right? We don't. It's just dumb. I think it's dumb. But, you know, some people always try to look for for those little flaws on, on, on your quarterback, right? And it is what it is. It's going to happen. Um, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if, if one of the media people asked them about it. Like, why do you have pink nails? Why do you why? It's just dumb. Who cares? Uh, someone said, do you think um, what's the drop hip tackle being a thing? Uh, more middle linebackers will turn to running backs. Haha. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think, I think the def defensive players are like, you know what, what's the, what's even the point for us being out there? You know, all, all the calls are going to go to offensive way. Um, how are you supposed to tackle? Obviously it's going to be more about technique. And obviously, you know, the good thing for the Chicago bears is that Matt Eberflus is all about technique. So I'm excited to see how Matt Eberflus uh, preaches this to our defense. So I'm excited to see it. Uh, Chet says my dream for first round is trade back and get JJ. Um, then get a top five, a top wide receiver DN at nine. And with the second we get in a trade back, we get Jaden Wright at running back. If he's still there. Okay. Um, obviously there's a lot of people pretty high on JJ McCarthy. Um, I heard he's a really, really smart guy. Um, has a pretty strong arm as well. Um, and he's just mostly like a game manager, just really smart, knows how to play the game the right way. Um, and obviously the team is built pretty well for him to probably succeed, but I, I don't know if the bears will, will go in that route. That would be very, very surprising. Uh, Marky Mark R says, thank God we got hired uh, to tackle correctly. Yeah, that, that's very good. Yeah. You know, whoever gets uh, Eddie Jackson, love, love Eddie Jackson to death, but that was definitely one of his weaknesses that he struggled um, a, a, as a tackler, especially in the open field. Um, Kevin Bayard does not have that problem. Um, so it's going to be very like, you know, just technique driven. And obviously Matt, you is already big on technique and all that stuff, especially tackling. Um, so hopefully it's a smooth transition for, for our defense. I really, really do. Cause um, obviously this role sucks. If you are NFL defender. All right, Bears fans. Once again, I don't want to make this too long. I don't want to take up too, too much of your time. I just wanted to come on here and interact with you guys. Like I said, once again, earlier, I did try to come live. Um, didn't stay on for too long because because obviously uh, my daughter was uh, needing me at that time. So I cut the live short. Um, and so I wanted to come on here really quick and just engage with you guys and just hear what your dream first round for the Chicago Bears would be. I'm honestly, we're less than a month away um, from the NFL draft. Once again, I will be doing an NFL draft party right here on Kick on the Mic. Um, I'll have one of my buddies on with me. So looking forward to that. Um, but as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Um, Make sure you hit the like button before you leave the live stream today. That would be much appreciated, and it definitely helps Keek on the mic. Um, but once again, as always, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you continue to show the channel. Um, and as always, to each and one of you guys, bear down.